Today we'll be learning how to select PMS colors from Illustrator. Alright, so now we're in Illustrator and we have a CMYK color, but we need to choose a PMS color because it's not a four color print. So there's a couple different ways to do this and different programs do it differently, but in Illustrator you go to Window, Swatch Libraries, and you choose color books and then you choose your specific color book that you're going to go for. Um, say we're doing solid coated, that means we're using coated paper, if we're using matte, we're using a matte paper or an uncoated paper. Colors differ. So depends on what you're using, let's just say we're using solid coated <clears throat> and say we want PMS 220 we choose this, it has a little dot, it has a triangle with a little black dot. Now we know this is a PMS color. If we went back to that same place, we went to Swatch Libraries, and we went to Color Books, and we did Solid to Process, that means we're using the numbers 220, but it's going to be in, in a right here. It's going to be done in four color process. Process colors means it's it's actually these four colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, putting together to make the same color. Now it's not going to be exact. This color, the PMS color, will look better. C means coded. We go back to this. This means process color. That means all four colors are used to create this color. This is not a spot color. Spot colors have the dot. 